What's up everybody, welcome to Money Management channel. My name is Andrei and today I'm going to be doing an update on LCID stock. And in today's video, first of all, I will show you where we are on the price chart and how we get there. Then I will continue with the fundamental news that might drive the price of this company. And at the end of this video, I will share my thoughts and my technical analysis. And I will show you what should we expect next. And before we get into all of that, if you guys would like to earn two free stocks with Mumu valued up to $7,000, please check out that link in the description below. All you have to do is sign up for an account and deposit as little as $1. This is guaranteed free money. Full details you can see on the screen right now. So let's start with the price chart. I made my previous video right here at this very point and I've told you that uh, we had a very good reaction from the golden pocket range and uh, as you can see right after this movement to the downside if I pull the Fibonacci retracement tool from this top to this bottom we have this uh, range as a golden pocket range and right here we had a very good reaction from this and uh, definitely it was the range of uh, resistance and right here I've told you that we don't uh, have uh, much chances to hit uh, higher targets because uh, the higher this asset goes without uh, major retracements the lower possibility we have in order to hit higher targets and uh, definitely uh, this movement to the upside I didn't expect in a short term period but as you can see right here we also have uh, two ranges of supports and resistances and for now we are exactly in the middle of uh, this range and uh, we hit uh, the range the upper range of resistance and uh, the lower range of support and as you can see we have a very good reaction from these levels this means that these ranges are real and uh, they are still in play that's why we have to be cautious and I have to say that uh, uh, two videos ago we nailed this very bottom and I've told you that the range of about uh, $15.32 should be your accumulation point if you want to catch the next leg to the upside because it was a very strong support range from uh, the very beginning of uh, September 2021 because it was the lowest point uh, back in the days and uh, we have we caught this uh, movement to the upside and next accumulation point was at this point and uh, from these two ranges depending on your entry price you might might be up uh, to the current level for about 24%. Definitely very good achievement and uh, if you want to see the trend continuation and if you want to be on a safer territory just put your stop loss order on the green territory. In this case you will be able uh, to book some profits uh, no matter what. So and let's continue with the fundamental news and let me show you what do we have uh, from their official website. And uh, on June 23rd and on June 24th we have uh, two news and uh, one of them is uh, that uh, Lucid set to join Russell 3000 index and let me show you this news in details. I have to say that Russell 3000 index is nothing else uh, but the psychological uh, inclusion that uh, might bring a bit more attention to this asset and I have to say that it is not uh, the bullish news by itself but all in all it is uh, quite bullish in some circumstances and let me show you another news that uh, will definitely be the long-term catalyst for this company because uh, they opened a new studio in the Pacific Northwest at University Village in Seattle, Washington and uh, definitely the more studios uh, this uh, company has the more exposure on the broader audience they have and definitely a lot of people want to see the real vehicles want to make a test drive want to touch their luxurious materials and uh, definitely this uh, might bring more attention to this uh, company and this might uh, bring a lot uh, more customers so and let me show you another news so we are on lucid insider twitter page and definitely we have a very good news from the goodwood festival of speed and on june 27 they published this tweet the lucid air ground touring performance model won the fastest production vehicle at the goodwood festival of speed congrats lucid motors ben collins stick uh, uh, len divana and jeff curry uh, and the whole lucid team and definitely this award is quite uh, significant in a world of speed and definitely the fastest production car on this festival means that uh, Lucid Air is a really fast vehicle. And uh, we have a lot of uh, news uh, related to their new studio in Seattle and we have some news uh, related to its uh, 
software update, but I want to pay attention on this one. Let me show you somewhere here. Uh, well, on June 24th, right after I made my previous video, uh, we have this tweet uh, and it says Lucid Motors confirmed they post production for a week to get the plant ready for the air pure, but I suspect there was longer unscheduled pause. And let me show you this news in details. Uh, Lucid Motors post Lucid Air production from May 29th to June 4th to support the air pure. And uh, I have to say that uh, the author of this article thinks uh, that it is not uh, just five days halt. And let me show you this. The thing is, it seems that although Lucid had a scheduled pause, we have not seen much production levels coming out uh, of the factory until just this week, as we reported here. We have seen several weeks of uh, delays uh, caused by the recall and other inspection and quality issues uh, since mid-May. We saw Lucid delivery counters stop receiving cars for a period of time. Lucid also doubled the inspection of each car and even adding one-third final inspection and is now starting to deliver those cars from mid-May through mid-June. In fact, Zach Edison, the VP of Sales and Service, sent some Lucid Air customers emails about uh, this delay back in June 14th, telling those customers they hope to deliver their cars by June 30th. And uh, as you can see, we have a bunch of uh, active links in this uh, paragraph. And you can read the entire article. I will put the link on this article in the description below. And definitely, we have to be very cautious because of this news. And I have to say that, in my opinion, Lucid uh, will reduce uh, its uh, delivery target uh, for the entire year of 2022 because of uh, the basically the weak deliveries so far in the first half of this year. And unfortunately, it might happen on the next uh, earnings report and uh, definitely we should be prepared for this. And let me show you that institutional investors are cautiously buying uh, the LCID stock. As you can see, we have several recent filings and uh, it was made uh, by Fidelity. And Fidelity, as you can see, bought uh, 637,000 in value of uh, Lucid uh, stock, about $3 million in value and about $1.4 million. Also, they added to their position uh, about uh, 4.79 thousand percent and uh, their new position basically entirely new position because of this increase of uh, roughly nine hundred and eighty seven thousand dollars so definitely this might be quite good news uh, for the long term but we have a lot of uh, doubts in the medium term perspective because of the total sentiment of the market and potential reduction of uh, the delivery rates so, and let's continue with the technical analysis, but before we dive deep right here, please subscribe to my channel, hit the notification bell and hit the like button. This helps me a lot. So guys, I have to say that from this bottom, uh, I clearly see right now five waves structure and if it is the case, uh, uh, probably we might have this is our first wave, second, third, then uh, we have a clear triangle in the fourth wave and this is the lowest point of this wave and probably this is the top of the fifth wave. And if it is the case, uh, we completed the entire wave and this means uh, we might land somewhere lower and I don't need this tool right now. And instead of this, I have to pull the Fibonacci retracement tool from this bottom to this top. And if it is the case, if we completed all the waves, as you can see, we have very strong support uh, with the confluence of 0.236 and with this yellow line. And uh, uh, probably we might hit lower targets in order to accumulate more steam to hit uh, higher levels for this asset. But definitely, for the medium term perspective, uh, we have a lot of headwinds directly related to Lucid. That's why you have to be very cautious uh, in the medium term trades. But if you want to invest in this asset, just accumulate on every daily red candle because fundamentally this company is quite strong, they have enough money to operate, they have very good product and their plans to expand their presence in the United States, Europe and Middle East are very promising and that's why you can rely on this asset as your long-term holdings. So, I think from the technical standpoint, that's it for now. If you like my video, please hit the like button and subscribe to my channel with notification bell. And see you guys and girls next time. Bye!
rock star in this life, gon' live it up on the attack Baby, I'm bad, I just wanna get caught up in this life I'm crazy, I'm bad, doing no cap Only got one, so you better go live it up